If you've been feeling kind of run down, air quality officials are reporting higher levels of pollution in Santa Clarita, the San Fernando Valley and San Bernardino. Air quality becomes an even bigger problem in the summer, but there are ways you can protect your lungs. Our health specialist Denise Dador shows us how. And whenever you're ready, nice, massive breath into your mouth. Taking a deep breath isn't always easy for 13-year-old Shelby LaRue. For her, asthma, pollution, and hot weather are a bad mix. When I have trouble breathing, I wheeze. You're not, uh, like Darth Vader thing. When the temperatures rise, it causes an increase in ground-level ozone, which is a combination of different chemicals that can constrict airways. They can cause bronchoconstriction, which is actually a squeezing of the breathing tubes. Emergency room visits go up due to air quality. That's why health officials issue advisories asking the elderly, people with heart disease, diabetes, asthma, and other respiratory conditions to limit outdoor activities and stay indoors as much as possible. Dr. Katie Marks Kogan advises running a HEPA filter if you can and make sure all your medications are up to date. You may need more of your uh, bronchodilator, which is what helps open up the airways, and you need to make sure that you have that around. The air quality index runs from 0 to 500. Once it gets over 100, sensitive populations like young children and people with chronic conditions need to be careful. So doctors say one way to know what the air quality is at all times is to download an app onto your smartphone. And just take seconds to check what the air quality forecast is going to be, and then the, the patient can plan their week, plan their activities. Shelby's vacation plans include a lot of outdoor activities. My summer goal was to slowly work into more and more running, like to be able to get my endurance up for breathing. But she knows how to pace herself to make sure she doesn't keep ending up at the doctor's office. In Torrance, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.